My name is Mercedes. I am a marketing director and I switched from Webinar Ninja to Webinar Jam. For more reviews like this, click below. I use webinar platforms to host webinars. I need to be able to screen share. I need to be able to upload presentations and show that as well as good camera and microphone usage. Those are typically the things I look for when looking for webinar software. Webinar Jam has been around for a while and so I found that it had more features than Webinar Ninja. It was able to give me more analytics and it was able to uh, track my users a little better. Webinar Ninja is very easy to use. It was extremely user friendly as a beginner and just starting out with webinars. Um, it did perfectly. It took me under 60 seconds to build a webinar, so very easy to use. As a beginner using a webinar software, it was very easy to use Webinar Ninja. It was very user friendly and I believe they had a lot of tutorials. Also, the owner and founder of the company is very reachable and offers help. So I thought those were great things about Webinar Ninja. When I switched to Webinar Jam, the support was there. It wasn't as um, easy to reach out to someone as with Webinar Ninja. However, the support was there and it was pretty easy to get the webinar set up and running. When looking for new webinar software, I typically am looking at the functionality, the features. I'm looking at the price. Uh, so what, am, uh, what works best for me and my company as far as the price and then also just needing uh, the capability to share my screen, to record the webinars, uh, to also do replay uh, of the webinars that look like a live webinar. That's very important and so um, that is one big reason I made the switch to Webinar Jam. Uh, also looking for the ability to um, share presentation slides, um, looking for the ability to let people come on the screen, uh, guests come on the screen. Those are my main, uh, main uh, items that I'm looking for when looking at a webinar platform.